All right, I know a lot of people are living really frugal um, lives right now, having to save money. Um, and um, I found that this breakfast has has this breakfast strategy has worked very well for me since November. Um, I think it was around November, yeah, because of uh, the Christmas uh, marketing season um, that started in November was when my hours escalated very high and um, I needed I needed to add a solid breakfast into my um, work day. And this is what I came up with that's been working for me since November. Right now it's January 20th. Um, and so I'm going to share it with you because it worked good for me, so it should work okay for other people, most likely. Um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting frozen uh, fruits into these jars. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my hands um, because I'm going to be handling the frozen fruit with my bare hands. Um, I suppose if, if you wanted to, you could wear gloves that might be more hygienic, but for me, it's been working fine since November that I simply wash my hands before I begin this process. All the jars are good and clean. Um, Now I'm only going to make breakfast for four days in advance. In other words, today is Sunday. Um, I'll probably, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This is just enough to get me through Thursday. Enough breakfast for Thursday. And because I'm only doing four days in advance, any germs that are still on my hands after I do this process are only going to be in the refrigerator for four days anyhow or if I skip a day for five days at the most. Um, but, you know, if, if, if I was doing this for weeks ahead of time, like let's say that I was making 20 breakfasts, well then any germs that were on my hand would have time to multiply within the bottle. I don't recommend doing more than four days, let's put it that way. should be decently clean and I'll go ahead and start with the blueberries got frozen blueberries all right this is my first time trying this this is what was on sale today at the jewel local supermarket. Um, I do prefer organic over other things. Oh wow, and these are even wild. Huh. Huh. Excellent. I wonder how they know they're organic if they're wild. I usually prefer organic and I usually prefer wild, but I didn't know that you could get them together as wild organic. Okay, um, actually with this bag, in this shape, I'm not even going to have to touch the blueberries with my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour. I'm not going to fill the jar, I'm only going to go about a third of the way up. So yeah, we'll go about, about like that. OK, 
Okay, with this particular bag, um, I don't have enough for four days unless I do something like this. Okay. So yeah, this week my blueberry consumption will be a little bit less than I usually do, but not much less. Those look about even. All right, so I'll go ahead and cap that. The blueberries, they're the first thing that I eat in the morning. Um, and in other words, I eat nothing else before the blueberries. And I will eat nothing after the blueberries for the first hour. Um, there's, there's videos out there that explain why, and there's research out there that explains why, but you can get the most from the blueberries. Some scientists have found that you can get more from your blueberries if you don't have protein in the same meal that you're eating the blueberries with. Um, olive oil doesn't have um, protein, but it does have, or if it does have protein, it doesn't have much. Um, but it does have um, properties to help uh, your brain health. So, um, what I do is, is after the, when I'm about to have breakfast, these blueberries are going to be thawing in the refrigerator. Right now they're frozen. They're going to be thawing in the refrigerator. Um, so the first thing that I eat in the morning is the blueberries, but I will add a little bit of olive oil. Like roughly, I would say it's roughly a, a teaspoon to a tablespoon for this kind of a portion that I add to the blueberries. But that's the only thing that I eat with the blueberries. So I've, wake, I've woken up. I haven't had anything to eat for 10 hours because I've been sound asleep. I've woken up. The first thing I'm going to eat is the blueberries with about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of olive oil and then nothing else for about an hour. And then after that I'll move on to a different berry. Um, but this is what's been working for me since November and my schedule has been very, very hectic. Um, and I've been able to keep up with that schedule. So. To me, this has proven itself to be worthwhile for me. And if you're if you're looking for a breakfast, if you don't normally do breakfast and you're looking for something to help keep you going, this has been working well for me. These this sequence of fruits. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cap those. So these are lids, and they're good and clean. And um, And I'm not screwing them on tight. I'm just doing them like loosely fingertip tight. Like I said, these are only going to be in the refrigerator for... This one's going to be in there for one day, two days, three days, four days. The one that's going to be in there the most is for four days. And the likelihood of any germs um, multiplying to a extreme extent during the uh, four-day period that it's in the refrigerator is pretty slim. Okay, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator. Now I'm moving on to blackberries. Again, these were on sale. Typically I've been doing strawberries, but I'm going to change it up a little bit and move on to blackberries. But the concept is, is, the main concept is the blueberries are the first thing I eat and then nothing else for an hour. Um, so 10 hours without any food, then the blueberries with the olive oil, then a different kind of berry. Um, because there's synergies between berries. Um, And I think I'll be able to dump these into the uh, 
into the jars, kind of like I did with the blueberries. Extra, that one has a little bit fewer. That all looks about even. Cap them. Into the fridge they go. Now I don't think there's as much research on blackberries as there is blueberries. So it's entirely possible that there might be benefits to putting a gap of time in between the blueberries and the cherries, but there's, as far as I know, there's no research on that. Um, so I've been eating my second and third fruits closer together rather than spacing them out an hour apart. Um, I'm going to rewash my hands again because I've just touched bags that were in a retail environment and my hands are going to have to go into this cherry bag so um, I will be touching the fruit with my hands and I want to minimize germs and I've just been touching the outsides of bags that were in a retail environment so I'm going to wash my hands again to get any germs that had been on the outside of the bags off of my hands to minimize those germs. I should also say that it's been, I can't even remember the last time that I was so sick that I had to miss a day of work or school. In other words, like five years ago, I was at college. I don't think I ever missed a day of college because I was sick, and I don't think I've ever missed a day of work in the five years since college because I was sick. So there's probably some... There's probably some goodness to the uh, recommendation of washing your hands when you're preparing food that you're not going to eat immediately. Just saying. I tend to be a healthy guy. This seems to be a habit that helps lead towards being a healthy guy. All right, so now with minimal touching of the bag that had been in a retail environment a while back, we'll get the cherries into the jar. So we see one cherry that has fallen onto the countertop, which I'll guarantee has germs on it. So 
So you might be thinking, Frank's going to freak out. Frank's not going to put that cherry into a jar. He sure is. Frank is absolutely going to put that cherry into a jar. But it's going to be the first jar that I eat tomorrow. Okay, so they're all about even. This cherry is going into that jar. That'll be the jar that I eat tomorrow. It'll get eaten within one day. Any germs that were on that cherry are going to have the smallest amount of time to multiply throughout the jar. See, it's not about going crazy with germs. It's about being smart how much time and what kind of temperature they have to multiply. So these three are going the furthest into the refrigerator so they don't get pulled out first. And this last one will be the first one that I pull out from the refrigerator tomorrow morning. Okay, let's take a quick peek at what we got in the uh, refrigerator here. So we got the blueberries. That's the first one I'll pull out in the morning. As soon as I wake up, I'll eat it with a little bit of half with a little bit of uh, olive oil. An hour later, I move on to the blackberries. Ordinarily, it would be strawberries, but they weren't on sale today, and, and uh, so I went with the blackberries that were on sale. Then I'll move on to the cherries and I won't necessarily put an hour in between eating these. That's a breakfast that's worked out very well for me since November, um, and right now we're in the latter part of January. So um, if you're looking for a, a healthy breakfast suggestion, that's what I would recommend. Um, that's, that's where I think it's a good investment of resources to put together such a, such a breakfast. Uh, that's it. Bye.